I have a thought in my mind to give you a simple trick to remember Bissell's formula while preparing for examination. Instead of using all your memory, please try this way and it will immensely help you for your remembrance. So here is the Bissell's formula. So B stands for, see here B, so bisection. So we have to take an average of 2. So first of all, this is 0 and this is 1. So this is 0. So this, uh, if I keep on, writing in a decreasing order so this is 0 this is minus 1 this is minus 2 and here also 1 so this is 0 and this is minus 1 see here look here this is 0 minus 1 minus 2 here also this is 1 0 minus 1 in between I'm writing minus 1 so got it so in between I'm writing minus 1 so use this simple trick so this is 0 minus 1 minus 2 and this is 1 0 minus 1 and in between I wrote minus 2 so this is a bisection method so we have to take average of these two and next single value and we have to take average of these two and next single value and again we have to take average of these two so that is the first technique which we have to use so the yp value will be see here in the Bissell's formula yp value will be first we have to take the average of these two that is y0 plus y1 by 2 the next one is the single difference so this is delta y minus 1 and the next one we have to take the double values or the average so this is delta square y minus 1 plus so, this value is delta square y naught by 2. Okay. The next one, it is a single value. So, this is delta cube y minus 1. And the next one here, we have to take the average of these two. After cube, it is 4. That is delta power 4 y minus 2 plus this is delta power 4. This is y minus 1 by 2. So, until this, it's okay. So, first one average single average single and next one is average and the next one please remember this one so this is also an another one this is zero everybody knows this is one this is minus one this is two and this is minus two like that you can write isn't it zero one minus one two minus two so before that i am writing half see here first of all i am taking this half and i am writing here as P minus half into 1 factorial. First of all, I am taking a single value. So, this is a single value I have taken. And the next one, I left this one and took these two as another value. That is P minus 0. See, the next one here is this value is. See here, this value is. This is P minus 0 into this is P minus 1 by 2 factorial. Got it? And the next one what I have taken is, so see here, again I have taken this three values, half, zero, one. See here, so this will be P minus half. So this is P minus half into P minus zero into this is P minus one by three factorial. And the next one, again I left this half and took all these four values. So, these four values means that is 0, 1, minus 2, minus 1 and 2. These four values I have taken. See here. Now I am going to write this. That is P minus 0. So this is P minus 0. This is P minus 1. So this is P plus 1. Next one. And this will be P minus 2 by 4 factorial. See here. So this first one will be average of these two that is y0 plus y1 by 2 and the next one is delta power 1 the first difference second difference third difference fourth difference so this will be delta power 1 y minus 1 so this will be the second difference delta square y minus 1 plus delta square y0 by 2 and this is again the middle one that is delta q y minus 1 and these are the fourth difference values that is delta power 4 y minus 2 plus delta power 4 y minus 1 by 2 so got it so this is simple average single average single average and so on and coming to this 
So this values we have to remember 0, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2. First of all, I took single value. I left this one and took double values. And again, I combined this one. And again, I left and took all the four values. So this is how we have to write. And see here, this is P minus half by 1 factorial. Next, P minus 0 into P minus 1 by 2 factorial. And the next, P minus half into p minus 0 into p minus 1 by 3 factorial and again this is p minus 0 p minus 1 p plus 1 p minus 2 by 4 factorial so this is the formula so we have to add up all these and we have to continue like this so this is nothing but the Bessel's formula once again i'm going to write this one see follow along with me so this one will be see here yp value Bessel's formula will be double that is y0 plus y1 by 2 and the next one I am going to take the single value that is p half by 1 factorial into the second uh, the first difference that is delta y minus 1 and again I am going to take the average of these two that is delta square so first of all that is p minus half and later I have to take all these two that is p minus 0 into p minus 1 by 2 factorial into again I have to take the average. So this average I am taking that is delta square y minus 1 plus delta square y naught by 2 and the next one here is again I, t I have taken half 0 1 in one stretch. That is p minus half, this is p minus 0, this is p minus 1 by 3 factorial into the next one after double, this is delta cube y minus 1. And the next one here is now I left this half again and I have taken 0, 1, minus 1, and 2. See here, so this will be 0, that is p minus 0, this is p minus 1. This is p plus 1. This is p minus 2 by 4 factorial into. Again, I have to take the average. That is delta power 4. See here, this is minus 2 minus 1. So, delta power minus 2 plus again delta power minus 1 by 2 plus and so on. So, this is so simple to remember. This is 0 minus 1 minus 2. So, this is in a decreasing order and this is also 1, 0, minus 1. In between you write minus 1 and you take averages of all these and this will be very, very easy for you to understand. So, I thought an easy way and uh, please leave a comment if you can write uh, the formula in one stretch. So, without any difficulty, without any remembrance, you can just frame this Bessel's formula. And if you really like, you know what to do. Please pass it on to your friends. Raise your thumb. And please do follow this channel. And I have posted so many videos related to this. Please go through the playlist. And everything is available there. If you need anything, please post me definitely. I'll make a video. And uh, thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.